Now then YouTube, I am the top man and welcome back to The Sims 3. It is part 2 of the Neon Legacy playthrough. Um, this guy on the last episode there, you saw that he was in, uh, asleep in his bed. I just sent him there. And I got a, a lot of good response from the last video. Yes, there was a little bit of lag involved, but um, I don't think it was that bad that it actually destroyed the watching experience of it. I thought that it was still perfectly okay. And I can't believe that it is... 1.27 a.m. there and the ice cream van is still outside my house. Um, maybe he's packed up, maybe he's doing some uh, a bit of sleeping for the night, I don't know. Anyway, we, we had some suggestions um, while he's sleeping, I'll go through them. We had some suggestions in, in the last video there that uh, somebody wants, you know, wants this guy to be a player, uh, to have loads of kids everywhere. Um, I think that, that because he's a rock star it would definitely be something that I would look into doing is uh, is having many different girlfriends whether or not I'll go forwards and have many different kids is another you know is another story um I may do I I I I'm not sure if I will do or not yet so don't hold me to that um somebody said that they actually do want me to to build an extension onto the house for a guitar room now that's all well and good but what I'm looking to do is get some money behind me and actually move house into a bigger and better house because I'm really not one for designing at all honestly it, my missus she can do it no problem however me sitting down and designing something is really not my forte or anything like that so I'll be looking to just move house rather than add rooms on at the minute this is his playing area and I think that's as, that's what it's gonna stay as just for the moment you know until we get another house and you know one of the spare rooms maybe will end up as a guitar room um, and uh, I think that was about it if I remember right but I had a lot of response saying that they would like me to turn this into a series um, into a bit of a let's play I thought I'd get a part 2 out there maybe even part 3, 4 and 5 before I decide whether or not it's it's worth um, you know my time to sit down and record them I want to see that the, the views and the likes are still there so if you are interested in this series continuing just hit you know put that put a thumbs up uh, on the video uh, just so I know that you're still there and you're still enjoying it but anyway, let's carry on at full speed now, full tilt towards morning time, uh, 7.30 a.m. He is, he is at work, but it isn't until very, very late on. Uh, let's go and have a look at our, our needs. So hunger is definitely up there. Uh, you can see there, 4 p.m. till 7 p.m. Is his, is his next one. So he's going to be wanting some food when he gets up. And I think I want to actually do cereal. There's a good reason for that. Um, the, the only other option for breakfast is waffles and because he has no cooking skill it's very dangerous to go and cook waffles on a stove there get him to learn a cooking skill before you actually go and, um, and make anything in the cooker so the sound effects are turned down a little bit it just seemed that uh, in the last video I was turning the sound effects down and nothing much happened so there we are there's his hunger going up and what he's going to do after that is uh, is going to read cooking. He's going to learn at least one skill point in cooking. I think that's definitely a, a plus. Just the one will do. Um, I'm going to wait until he's finished that before queuing up. Maybe a shower and and uh, and the toilet. The mailman's just been as well, so we're going to have to pay the bills at some stage. Ninety-six simulonians is enough. So that is slowly moving upwards there. And maybe in the afternoon I might go to the park, see if we can't find any uh, any women or anything anywhere. Um, I'm nowhere near travelling anywhere near abroad, so... Looking for potential girlfriends, because that's what you guys want to see. Come on, I'm very nearly there. And it will look a lot, you know, it will look laggy when I'm on the, the fast speed, so. There we are, we've got that there. Um, I'm not particularly bothered about showing it off. So now we can, you know, say no, don't bother doing that anymore. Use the toilet, take a shower with flare, and, uh, and then pay the bills after that. And that'll be him pretty much, uh, pretty much sorted for work. Does he want to buy some maracas or something? Host an acrobat at a big show venue. Um, that's not something I'm looking at. This is what I'm going to be looking at. 
Well, mind you, I'm not joining the singing career, am I? I'm going to be joining the music career. So, I could get rid of that one. He's going to pay the bills. Um, and then I'm actually going to go to the world map screen here. And this one does lag, I have to tell you guys. There's nothing much I can do about that one. And then I'm going to visit Verd Park. What's its purchase property? Hundred. A hundred dollars? Oh, is that a hundred thousand seven hundred and sixty-five for a property on the park, or is that to actually purchase the park? Yeah. Anyway, there we are. He's uh, he's coming to the park now, so that is good. Seems there's a guy just sat there minding his own business. There's a woman over there, Danielle Platt. Let's just go to sit down with that guy actually. It's just running off into the middle of there. I don't know what he's doing. But I am going to go and speak to uh, to Danielle over here. Turn the view around a little bit. I'm trying to do edge scrolling as well, which doesn't help. More Zoom in a little bit. And, uh, and see if we can't get in there. So first I want to go through just a normal chat. And that's definitely uh, a good start. Flirt is one of his things there, but I don't think at this stage that it's ever going to work. Um, could ask about a career. Uh, gossip. Women always like a gossip, don't they? Mm. I mean, let's go for a, another little chat and then I'll move on with a bit of flirt. Now I'll ask if she's single first. Uh, it's only it's only right to ask that first. And then I'll go for a flirt. So there's there's the gossip look. She always loves a little bit of gossiping. Women just love gossiping, don't they? She works in a dance bar as well, so she she uh she might be good at, at certain things. So, I don't know what, what she's doing oh, it's just a normal chat, is it? Okay. And then I'm going to move on to the asking if, if she's single. It may not possibly work because it's still out of coincidence at the minute. So, maybe the flirting will not work. Um, I've asked. She's nodding her head. Maybe she is single. It looks like she is. Um, there's no partner involved, so I'm going to go in there for a flirt. She seemed to enjoy that. Family oriented. And the carpool will arrive. In an hour. Mm. Apparently Craig Elson's mm. been flirting with Emily. Whatever, whatever, whatever her face is. So, um, it's only acquaintance for me. It's, uh, it's looking good so far. It's looking good as that one. But it is, in fact, time to go home. Let's turn the view around because I can't stand it being in the wrong view. Let's go back home, ready and waiting for the carpool to arrive for my part-time job. And apparently there's a bad environment in here. I think it's because there's a ball out on the side there. I'll wait for him to come back in. What's this here? See a symphony. Okay. <coughs> And he's just going to go straight to work. I had a weird bug when I was uh, doing just a normal single player where he got into the shower just before he was going to work and then when he got, when he got out of the shower, he was absolutely naked. And I, I don't mean, you know, with the uh, with the little sensor blocks around. I mean, he was actually naked. Um, you know, ass on show and everything. So it was a weird bug. It, it was something to do with the uh, the ghost hunter profession. So, something to think about there, uh, here, because I would definitely sort that out if I was you. Especially this being a, um, what what type of game is it? Is it like a 12 plus or small? Like Don't know. Business as usual. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to do it any more than that. I'm basically only doing that so I can make money out of it. Not really uh, go ahead in my. I'm I'm a, pr a produce quality assessor. Okay, I'm not really looking for any promotions. However, I'm, you know, I will take them. Uh, I'll take a promotion. 
and it will take a hell of a lot longer to get a promotion uh, when you're only there for three hours so when it's a little bit longer it will take a little bit longer so when it's seven o'clock when he comes back home um, he's just eating at work as well actually so it's a really good idea and a promotion a thousand points there for that so that's pretty decent yeah, it's not a bad idea to get a little part-time job for three hours because halfway through the working day he actually does get a hunger boost as well as a bladder boost as well because obviously he's gone to the toilet whilst he's there. So I've earned $89 today, or 89 simulonians, 89 pounds, whatever you want to call it. He's going to come back. What I'm then going to ask him to do is clean up a little bit. I want, to I want him to clean up the bloody house. It's getting, it's getting a stare and he obviously doesn't like it, so... What's this here? Buy an easel. Well, I'm going to take the Sea of Symphony out because I'm probably not going to do that as much as what I'm going to do about buying an easel. So I'll let him do that. Does that bin need sorting? No. Does anything need cleaning? Nothing at all. Okay. His fun is a little bit down at the minute, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him to play the guitar a little bit. That's a lot better. It's not as loud in my ears now. And I hope it's okay for you guys as well. It's not too loud or it's not too quiet. If it is, it's just a bit of tweaking, that's all it is. Right, now it's done a little bit of that. What I'm going to tell him to do is use his cell phone here. I'm going to tell him to call uh, chat to Danielle. Just to keep that relationship on the go. He's having a nice chat as well. He's walking around whilst he's chatting, so that's good. Sometimes you get calls where they literally only say one thing to each other and then they put the phone down, so that's never a good uh, never a good sign. We'll, we'll, we'll be working on Danielle here. She's a hopeless romantic, which is brilliant. This is just going to be absolutely brilliant. And she's family-orientated, so when uh, when the inevitable does happen, um, she can she can keep the kid. Because I'm not, I don't want kids at the minute. Thank you. I certainly don't want to uh, be caring for one. So I think when when the inevitable happens, and you know, if she does get pregnant, and that is when the, the bombshell will come, and I think we'll, you know, we'll be, bre we'll be breaking up because of my rock star career and my rock star lifestyle. Oh, this guy's Jess is sorry, not mine. What mine about? Jess is a rock star lifestyle. So he's still on the phone now. Uh, there we go, it's finished. It's 11 o'clock, it's time to go to bed. And, uh, and there we are. Another day gone in uh, in the Sims world. What I'm going to do now is just slip into uh, slip into buy mode here and have a look at that easel. I'm going to see how much the easel is worth. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit too much for me. 300 Simulonians is way too much. And I don't like this. I have to tell you guys, I really don't like this. Them shoving things on like this um, that have got nothing to do with it. You have to actually buy these as sim points. I don't like this feature at all. Um, I think it's it, you should. There should be an option to turn them off, in my opinion. I don't want to be shown uh, what I can't afford. Basically, you know, I, I don't want to be shown these things because you don't need them, and. It, it's just more more money that they're trying to get out of you. I mean, I've got all the expansion packs. I've got most of the stuff packs. What more do you want? I mean, come on. So this guy's going to go to sleep. He's going to get his nice night's rest. Seven o'clock in the morning is when he's going to wake up. <laughs> he's going to do the usual rounds of going to the toilet, um, taking a shower, and not having dinner. I've got to wait until... Uh, until breakfast time for that I think now is yes it is uh, and I'm gonna tell him to have some waffles seeing as he's gone up in the cooking skill world so that's good so how's he doing for skills two on the guitar skill what's that oh, adventures okay what's the adventure journal I don't need that anyway 3,000 remember I'm, I'm, I'm aiming actually for uh, for 10,000, did I say? I think it was 10, th yeah, 10,000 for the steel bladder. That's the first thing that I want to be able to get because uh, it just it just means a bit more spare time to to cram in 
you know, sk working on skills to cram in um, anything else, a bit of fun, a bit of social time with uh, with Danielle. And it looks as if something happened. I have no idea what that was. There was a bit of music going on there. Right, now he's going to get up. He's going to uh, bugger off to the toilet. And take a quick shower with some flair. Oh, dear me. It's okay, I'll sort that out soon. Um, that means that he sh I think he may be going into the, uh, the handy skill as well. And if it's lagging a little bit, it is because I'm on full speed here. I want him to get through his uh, through his breakfast as, as soon as I can. I, I don't want to... I heard the ice cream man there. Yeah, there he is. Though. I heard the ice cream man. I've got no interest in ice cream at uh, half seven in the morning. You know, I want me waffles. I want me waffles, man. So he wants to learn the writing skill, but for the moment, I think uh, I'm not going to do that. His cooking skills also going up whilst he makes this food. Shoves it in there. What's a dartboard? Again, not at the moment, fella. You've got your, uh, you've got your lifetime wishes. And there he's got his waffles. So he wants to go up in the cooking skill. So I think I might do that instead of, uh, you know, farming a band. I don't want to buy a trampoline, and I certainly don't want to buy a water slide at the moment. A sim fest is starting at uh, at Verde Park, or Verdi Park, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just about to finish his, his waffles, so I think we might take a look at that. I think we might go over to Verde Park there and uh, and take a look at this sim fest. So we're going to watch the show. While everything loads up here. There's a lot of people that are coming. Quite a few people in one place. I've got no idea what all these little uh, things are. Oh, is that a bad shower as well? Is it a cold shower? There's not a lot of many people here. There seemed to be when it was starting. They were all like, you know, coming in. But uh, this guy here, I don't know who he is. Simfest, a competition where performers can compete against one another to win a prize. Okay. I thought it was a show. Sims interested in participating should talk to the proprietor. Otherwise, just sit back and enjoy. Why not? Why not? He's obviously the proprietor there, so... Uh, I want to do a friendly introduction. See if I can ask to join performance career. I don't want to join the performance career. I want to uh, to join the thing. Can I not do that now? Uh, doesn't look like it. He is the proprietor, isn't he? Yeah, he's the proprietor. Oh, but I've got no skill in anything, so. Of course, there's just no point. I'll just stand stand idly by and uh, and watch the show here and scout out some women. Why not? Who's that there? Very interesting. Not her. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna apparently he's gonna be watching the show. Not looking at women, to be honest. So. Fair enough, let's just uh, let's watch the show here and see how things go on. So this guy, oh, he's dropped his flame stick there, no, that's not good, is it? That is not any good at all. Come on, fella, you can do better than this. Who are you? Heckle performer. Throw stuff at the stage. Make a request, respond to performance. Let's throw some stuff. Just for the fun of it. Um, vegetable. Where's tomatoes? Oh, you can't throw tomatoes. Why would you want to throw garlic? Bit expensive, isn't it? Throwing stuff. Food. Uh, juice box. Pizza. Throw a pizza at the stage. Okay. I just I want some. You know what I mean? I just want a tomato. Throw a, a throw a baseball. Okay. Just throw a toy rabbit. Oh, have I missed it? Have I missed the opportunity? 
Looks like I have. Oh, damn it. Well, there's the proprietor. And this guy's just having a picnic right in front of the show. What's he doing? Ladies and gentlemen, give me a warm round of applause for the performance by Boritz the Heavenly. Please welcome our next contestant, Guy the Elastic. Okay. Quick, Chuck's to fun. <laughs> I can't chuck stuff yet. Yeah, throw stuff at the stage. I'm going to chuck a lettuce in there. Oh, foul lettuce. Yeah, get in there. Is he going to... Oh, there it is. Look. Where is it? Is he going to chuck it or not? He didn't throw anything. Come on, man. Vegetable. Annoying. A putrid, putrid onion. It's chucking onion at him. I mean, this guy having a bloody picnic in the middle of it. What's he what's playing at? Now he says he wants to join the careers. Oh, host an acrobat. Meet a vampire. No, I don't want to do that just yet. Oh, yeah, go on. Chucking's so fine, just for the funnies. <laughs> Well, Carpool's going to be here in an hour, so that's that's all our fun for today. <laughs> let's uh, let's go back home. Oh, I kind of misjudged that. I think there's loads of bloody uh, newspapers out on the front there. That's no good, is it? So he's going to go home, and I'm going to get him to clean that up as soon as he gets back. But it will be very very soon. His time. What's this here? Saw an awful show. Okay. That's his mood down. Let's get him to clean the place up a little bit just before he goes to work. And I think at the end of this Sims day, I'm going to call that an episode right there. So he's back home. And uh, it seems to be taking forever to get through the door. Oh, but he's just going to... St he's going straight over to work, so that's good. Career halfway through in the performance meter there. Maybe because it's not that hard, I will actually do a work hard there. I think we may nick a, uh, we may nick a promotion. May it it might not be, but uh, you can see there's a little one there next to the grocery store clerk or clerk, whatever you want to call them. Um, that is basically what level your career is at at the minute and obviously we're at level one because we haven't had a promotion or anything at the minute so the thing is with working hard what happens is your your fun levels start to actually drop quite rapidly um, so that you've got to keep an eye on that and when the, there's a little pop-up that comes along here that says about being stressed uh, he wants to pull a fight with a sim that's not going to happen anytime soon so he's still working hard there. You can see the performance bar is going up here. If it reaches the top and has a considerable, um, you know, if it reaches the top and, and keeps going, and you can see he's strained there. He's, he's a bit stressed. He's, he's working hard to try and get his promotion. And it looks like it could be entirely possible. We will soon find out. He wants to sing a karaoke, but unfortunately I don't want to do that just na just now. Um, he wants to play the guitar in the park. It doesn't look... Ah, there we are. That's the noise of a promotion. Congratulations. Jace's impressive performance has earned him promotion to Blue Light Special Desi uh, Designator. As well as a bonus of 360 Simulonians. It's important to pick the right Blue Light Special for the right section at the right time. It's no small task, especially when all of our shoppers depend on you for their satisfaction. He now earns fifty dollars per hour and has exactly the same working hours. So, one hundred and fifty dollars a day. That is not bad. That's not bad at all. You can see there it's got a little two next to the name now because we are level two in that career. Buy something at least w uh, worth at least one hundred simulonians. Well, I can do that. That's pretty easy. Um, what's this here? Oh, I seem to have stopped. 675 for joining the music career. 
the thing is we aren't going to do that for a while yet so I'm probably going to get the, the play the guitar in the park option I'm also because uh, I'm a little bit stressed I'm a little bit strained is I'm going to finally go and buy that easel uh, to get a, an achievement there as well there's the easel and what I'm going to do is put it right there in the corner It seems I've lost one of my things there. I don't know. Oh, they are buy at least one thing for at least. So we, we you know, we did. Uh, we want a small, small picture. So we did have uh, like a double whammy there of of uh, lifetime happinesses. So how much have we got? Six thousand, just over six thousand. So that's no, that's no good really. At the minute, he wants to buy a McShuffling shuffleboard table. But at the minute he is having fun doing his painting there as well. Uh, I'll, I'll let him do that till about 9pm. And then I'm going to tell him to stop. I'm going to tell him to ring his missus. Oh, what, what is hopefully going to be his missus anyway. Um, where is it now? Where's my little uh, thing? Bob? Where's it gone? There it is. Right, cell phone, call Sim, have a chat with her. Um, Danielle. So now he's going to have a nice chat with her just before he goes to bed. All the while, this little green bar, which is the relationship bar, is going to continue going up. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to hope to go a little bit further with Danielle. He wants to learn the painting skill, which is fine. It is uh, 10.26. I think it is time to uh, to maybe get in the bed. Yeah, and I think that does actually call an end to this second episode of The Sims 3. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please do give it a like. It does help me a lot, and it makes me, uh, um, it lets me know that you enjoy the series and you would like it to continue on. So, anyway, guys, it's been episode two. We've we've made some progress in uh, in the job. We got a promotion in our job. We also met Danielle, which is going to be our first foray into a partner. She is a clothes folder at the Daily Spa. I think that's actually a part-time job, if I remember right. She's a hopeless romantic, family orientated. Um, she doesn't have a partner, which makes things pretty easy. So we will see how that goes in the next episode. But until then, guys, I have been the Tough Man. As always, please you know, feel free to make any kind of suggestions that you would like to see uh, in this series. But until next time, guys, I've been the Tough Man, and as always, stay safe.